This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse 2-pack featuring Leadfoot and Ironhide. The set is a Target exclusive in the U.S. over here in Manila since we don't have Target stores. Uh, you can buy this at, Toy, at, I think, at Toy Kingdom. I think some Toys R Us stores do carry them because we don't have Target here. So no exclusivity on this figure, on, the, on this pack. Uh, these are, yet again, repaints. Um, this Ironhide sort of reminds me of the, the colors of the off-road Ironhide, which was a repaint of the movie One Voyager Ironhide. And this one is just its exactly the same. It's just that since it's a Target exclusive, they're able to put the Target logo on him um, with, with some minor paint differences with the original release, which we'll get to in a little while, um, in case you haven't seen the packaging. Uh, really not a big fan of, of this uh, Cyberverse packaging. I'm not. I don't like the window, the whole window thing with the card. I'm really more for. Uh, I like the whole the deluxe class packaging with the bubble. The Voyager is okay. Leader class, I guess, okay. But the the deluxe class packaging, I think, is the best out of all the Dark of the Moon toys with the bubble and the nice uh, card back. And, uh, here it is. Some artwork. You can go, excuse me. Oh, FX France, trying to be like Michael Bay. Um, it's got this, the only thing going for this packaging, I think, is this uh, uh, foil stamped uh, part where it has the names and the faction. Okay. Uh, okay, enough of that. Uh, let me just stand uh, these figures. And show you their uh, original versions. So, okay. There you go. Uh, let's start with Leadfoot. Here he is, obviously. Differences in paint apps. The head is painted differently. It's not painted, actually, which kind of sucks. I think they, they use so much white paint that they couldn't afford to paint this one silver. Boo-hoo, Hasbro. Uh, the, the logo right here has been transferred, I think, here. Still has number 42 on the side and on top. Ah, they didn't even paint the, uh, the windshield. The, ar the armor plating with silver. So, overall, I do like the first version better uh, in terms of paint apps. Uh, but in terms of accuracy to the movie, because it has the target logo, I think this one is better. So it's really up to you. And it also comes with a gun, with a pistol that he can also hold. Not entirely sure why they've given him a pistol. Um, there's no way to store it in, in alt mode, but uh, yeah. They've given him a gun. If you want a more, uh, I don't know which one has more value because this one has a lot of silver paint. This one doesn't, but it has a gun and has a target logo. So either way, um, I think you just pick one. If you're a completist and a big Leadfoot fan, I suppose you can pick up both. Uh, and maybe you can swap the parts here and there. And uh, I don't know. I don't think that would be a good idea. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I wouldn't know which one to recommend. It would really depend on you. If you really just like the records, you don't like this one, get the single version. If you like a more accurate one with the target logo, get this one, I suppose. So, we'll leave this one here and transform him. Sorry. And put do the hands last. Yeah, I was a bit in a hurry. Sorry, my bad. Uh, come on, this, these things don't want to tag in. Okay. All right. All right. There is lead foot. Uh, more red. Uh, no chrome. No silver. Uh, I guess I said there's really no way to store the gun. Um, I'm probably just going to have to put it on Ironhide. That's that. On to 
Ironhide. Really, I'm, I'm really beginning to really liking this uh, figure a lot more as it as I, as I get used to it. Really grows on you. And here's the original version. Uh, the, this one has tattoos. This one doesn't, obviously. Uh, I could go either way. Both of them, they're okay. This one has gold painted uh, the tip of the barrel. The Gatling gun has gold paint. I like the paint apps on this one. Uh, actually more, but if you want a more accurate iron, obviously you get this one. So it's really up to you. If you haven't picked up any one, you just choose one. Uh, again, as I said, if you like the records in iron, I'd go get this two-pack. If you want a more accurate one, get this one. Yeah. Uh, put it off to the side. Uh, figure is okay. Does it have mold degradation? degradation? Absolutely. It's very loose now. The joints are loose, very loose, absolute mold degradation right there. It's just the second version, and it, ugh, these Cyberverse uh, figures are just really, really not the best figures out there. But again, as I said, if you like them small, uh, and, and you absolutely like the scale, then by all means, pick it up. No argument on, on, from me there. I'm really liking the, the this powder metallic blue coating that they've put on Ironhide. It really, really becomes him. And I never got the off-road Ironhide from the first movie, so pretty glad I have this blue version of Ironhide. Uh, the looseness of the joints is a plus in the sense that you can transform him a lot easier than the original version, but really, again, for posing and playability, it's not really the best one you can again this just like the first version you can mount the two cannons here and uh, just stick it up the back and it looks funny or you can split them up and actually put them on either side actually this one looks a lot better oh, it's asymmetrical so anyway just let's do what the instructions say and uh, have them just like that so very very cool it's a it's a good set to pick up if you have not picked up the either one of these uh, figures the single carded versions or single packed versions uh, I suppose you can put this one here on top yeah that would make it really cool for Ironhide I want to carry your gun for you okay since you already have so much weapons on your alt mode yeah okay fine. Uh, so there uh, great set and uh, it's really up to you. If you wanna, if you really feel inclined to get the this set, despite having already the first versions, and by all means, go ahead and do so. But as it is, it's just a repaint. For what it's worth, uh, they're well made. And uh, excuse me. And uh, there we go. Better lighting. They're well made. And um, as apart from the mold degradation here and the lack of silver paint apps here, they're still it's still a pretty good set. And uh, I, I'd go as far as recommending these sets actually. And considering I'm not a big fan of the Cyberverse Commander line, that's a big thing uh, for me to recommend this. So there you go. Uh, the Transformers Dark of the Moon Target exclusive two pack featuring Leadfoot and Ironhide. If you're in Manila, you can pick it up at Toy Kingdom or Toys R Us or any other retail shop that's out there, even in Landmark or Toy Town, since we don't have Target here in Manila. If you want to know my, late, my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash FXFrans. There you go. Thanks for watching.